we get a lot from the media directly from you know our media people are talking to their media people in South Af in in Zimbabwe, and mm -hmm. uh, we would like to hear that from the people who are on the ground who are experiencing what is actually happening. Well, I think uh, we are <coughs> we are fortunate in the sense that uh, you were in Zimbabwe, so we may not necessarily give uh, the situation as per the elections because it's now common cause. But what is uh, the situation currently is that uh, the situation is worrisome in the sense that. Uh, Zimbabweans went to the polls, they voted, people have spoken, but there are no results. Results are known because I think you, are, you know as well as we do that they were being posted at each polling station. People are able to collect the results from the polling agents because those, those results were signed for by both the representatives. But unfortunately, for some reason, the results are being delayed. And the ZEC, the Zimbabwe Election Commission, was forced to announce a parliamentary and senatorial election results as opposed to the presidential, because the Electoral Act requires that they announce the presidential, not the other elections, because those ones are announced at constituent level, and people are actually given certificates at their, at their, at their constituency centers. And uh, what is also worrisome is that uh, anyone who dares to purport to announce the results is deemed to have uh, transgressed the law. But uh, fortunately or unfortunately for the, those in the ruling class, they now talk of a reader. Mm -hmm. How do they talk of a reader when they don't know the results? I think uh, that that's what we are all asking. Mm -hmm. It's a question that all South Africans and I think the entire world is asking that we have heard about the, the, the rerun and we are saying if the results are not known, why the rerun? Mm -hmm. And in this morning's media, there was uh, a speculation or if it's true, we don't know that uh, three, I think, of the ZEC people, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission members were arrested because they undercounted the ZANU PF <coughs> results. And we are saying, if there was an undercount count of results, why only of ZANU? Why not the Maconis? Why not the MDCs? Mm -hmm. It's quite uh, interesting to, to, to note that uh, the undercounting is specifically for the presidential election and not the other elections, council or MPs. And uh, why arrest Zek officials when ZANU had their own agent at the polling station, uh, MDC had their own agent at the polling station, and the police were also the You remember ZANU uh, uh, amended the law through the presidential powers to allow police to enter polling stations. And the police were there at the county, particularly the presidential, the police were involved. Now. You arrest an official, ZEC official, minus the police and the agents. They are claiming that their own polling agents were bribed. Mm. Bribery is, is a crime, and they should have been arrested. I think because I was one of those people who were observing the elections, and I was one of the people who even sat up to the very last count. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, there was, number one, transparency. Mm -hmm. Number two, there was a count against, you know, the, the ballot papers. There was a count in the record book mm -hmm. against the ballot papers. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the parties were there. And in some areas, even Human Rights Commission people were there. Z, ZCTU members in some areas were there. And there was no hostility. The police were inside the polls and there was no intimidation mm -hmm. from the police. I think in, in, in the area that I counted, things just went smoothly and the results were, were counted, were recorded before they were publicized. And everybody could see who has won, who has not won. So in that case, I, I don't know. But I think the other thing is one question that I particularly asked when we were brief, briefed by Zach, uh, the judge there. Yeah. Chief, Chief, the challenge was 
I asked that question directly to him about the independence of Zac. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I think he did not expect somebody would ask that question. And fortunately, because I went there as SADC, mm -hmm. not as a trade unionist, so most of the people did not know me as a trade unionist, and I was happy in that. But I questioned the independence, mm -hmm. and he said he, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were independent. But from what is coming out now, there is no... When, 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 when do you think will the presidential results be announced? Pardon? When will the presidential results be announced? The presidential results were supposed to have been announced six days, maximum six days after the election. But up to now they are not announced. Uh, people are forced to go to the courts. The NPF is saying that they are querying some of the counting. But how do you query the counting before you know the results? There was also calls to say that um, they need for some inter international intervention yes. um, into the process. I mean, what is the kind of intervention that we are talking about? We are looking at a situation whereby uh, we are actually having a, a, a cliffhanger in Zimbabwe. We don't know what is going to happen next. And uh, we were also briefing our colleagues from Zimbabwe in the morning and uh, the guys from Kosatu that uh, in as much as we may predict that Zimbabweans will remain uh, uh, calm, but nobody had predicted the Rwandan and the Kenyan situation until it happened. Mm -hmm. And when you peop hear people talking continuously that you will have another Kenya in passing, you may not know how the fire will spread. So we were asking for the international community to come to the rescue of Zimbabweans. Results must be known. The winner must be announced. If the winner is, has got absolute majority, uh, as per the constitution, he must be announced and uh, inaugurated. If there is no absolute winner, but the winner must be announced and we go for a reader. The worst we are expecting is that President Mugabe will, 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 will rule by decree. We announce a decree by through presidential powers, and they will rule by decree. And we are saying the international community will, must intervene in order to avert such a crisis. Uh, MTC went to court mm -hmm. on <coughs> the issue of the re releasing of the results. What what is the outcome? Well, the outcome is that uh, initially the ZEC were challenging that the court has no jurisdiction the High Court, because there has to be an uh, electoral court. But the judge ruled that the court had jurisdiction. The next was, uh, uh, Zek also uh, stated that uh, the, the matter was not urgent. And we are just hearing on the news that the court has ruled that the matter is very urgent. And therefore, it means the, the issue is now being heard before the court. I think they are actually in the court now, hearing the matter. But uh, hearing the matter in court, the court can rule that uh, Zek should release the results. But uh, the government in courts, because currently there is no government, they may force Zek not to release the results. Because as we speak, rumor is it that uh, all the Zek officials up to the chairman are under siege. They are staying at the hotel, at the International Conference Center, and they don't visit their homes. They are literally 